So today I'm going to change the power stand hose line. It's leaking. So I'm going to do a shortcut and just get some uh, tube from uh, Napa, and you can cut it up and just fix it yourself. So they have different size that you can pick. You know, and just so you go there, and just pick the right size you think it is, and get some clamp for like totals like maybe. 10 or 12 dollar for these so you see it's leaking through there yeah. and up here and it's wet in the bottom So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take all the fluid out first. So this this siphon here, I got at Hobo Fight for like maybe five ten bucks. So when pulling this up, make sure you hold the bottom hose, the pipe, make sure you hold it and pull it up so you don't break it enough. And just twist it. And there it is, the old piece. So the new one I'm going to measure the same distance, uh, just going to be longer and just put it in. So the hose I got, the hose I cut up, is somewhat the same distance. So I'm going to put this clamp on.
make sure you push it down to the gap to, to the little bump you can see you can see the bump down here pull it up again so if you look here this little bump here that you're going to stop right here And if you if, if you measure it, and you think it's too much, you can just cut off the piece here, like for here. I think it's gonna be too long now. So I'm just gonna cut off a little bit. And now we can just tighten these. So you can use a screwdriver, a flat, or you can use a size six. So when you do this, make sure you don't over tighten it. So if you over tighten it, you know it will it stretch the the holes more. I cut up the hose. So what I'm gonna do now is clean up all the bottom in the hose. So I know for sure that if it leaks again, I know that it's leaking again, then I can tighten it more. So after you add the fruit back in, start up the car. And once you start it up, I think it's gonna get a little bit lower, so you're just gonna add more to it. So it, didn't get, so it didn't get any lower. So what you're gonna do now is just go in the car and turn the steering wheel all the way to the left, and all the way to the right, so you, so you don't have no air bubbles in the system. And uh, you know, do that for like 10 minutes or 15 minutes, and it should be okay. So that's about, so that's it, thank you.